Hello everyone. Today I want to show you the installation process of our newly launched item which is a POS and we named it IntelliPOS system. And this is built by one of the most popular PHP framework Laravel. Here we used Laravel 5.5. As our POS system is a Laravel app, so at first in this tutorial I would like to show a very simple method to deploy Laravel 5 applications to our main domain. In every hosting server, that is VPS or share hosting, whatever, there is a public underscore HTML directory and which is accessible publicly via web domain. Let's go to our hosting panel. So this is our hosting panel and here you see that there is a file manager we need to go inside the file manager let's click on file manager okay inside the file manager there is a public underscore HTML directory and this is actually accessible publicly via web domain so now we need to copy all the files from the project that we have downloaded from code canyon and we uh, inside our root directory so let's do it click on upload select file and this is the zip file that we download from code canyon so the file is starting to upload now we have to wait until the upload has been completed let's wait So upload has been successfully completed. Now click on go back button. So we see that our pause has been uploaded to our root directory. Now we need to extract it, extract it here. That means in the root directory. Click on extract, root, extract files. So extract has been completed. Now refresh this space. So you see that the file has extracted in the root directory. And uh, here we see that a, there is a public folder. So click on the public folder. And select all the files and folder inside this folder select all we need to move all the content to public underscore HTML directory from public move file so the directory is empty so now we need to delete the public folder click on delete So let's go to the public underscore HTML directory and you see that all the files and folder from the public is now replaced to public underscore HTML directory. Okay. Let's type our domain name. application now redirect us to the purchase verification window and we need to put our code canyon purchase code over here and after that click on verify and Intelli pause will be licensed for you now I am going to pause this video for a while and verify my installation and once we have verified our installation, we will be redirect to our installer page. So this is our installer window. Now we need to click on the check requirements button. Click. And this window show us if our server is ready to run IntelliPause. Any server that will capable to run Laravel 5.5 is capable to run IntelliPause. 
the minimum version of PHP requires 7.1.0 because Laravel 5.5 .5 requires at least PHP 7.0. Let's click on the check permission button. Laravel needs storage slash framework, storage slash logs, and bootstrap slash cache. These folders to be writable by the application. So the installer is checking if our directory permission is correct. Next, click on the configure environment button. And here we can change our application name. And we can also change the app URL to our domain name. Okay, let's click on setup database button. In this window, we are going to configure our MySQL or whatever server we are using. In our case, we are using MySQL. The host is correctly configured and this is the default database port. And before clicking on install and proceeding to next step, we need to make sure that this database is created. And to do this, we go to the PHP MyAdmin and create a database called Inventory. So let's go to the cPanel and click on MySQL databases. So there is no database associated with our account, so we need to create a new database. So we named our database to pause, create database. Okay, copy the database name. Now change our database name to pause. Now we need to create a user for this database. MySQL user, set new user, pause. to give the database password and create user so just copy our database user name okay and put it here and now we need to give all the permission of our user to our database okay let's click on add and give all the privileges to our user let's go back now we again go to the installer page and click on install. And we are waiting for installation to finish. The application has been successfully installed. The application and uh, application has given us the application login username and password. Save it in somewhere else and click on this button to exit the installer. It will redirect us to the backend. And we are going to use the username and password we got after the installation. Let's click on sign in button. Okay, this is our IntelliPause dashboard. So, this is the end of our installation process. 
थैंक यू